Question 20. We have two identical stars that are located distance capital D apart. They're moving both in a circle around the center of mass, which is right between the two. Uh, we know the mass of each star, we know the velocity, we know the universal gravitational constant. And the question is, which is a correct relationship amongst all of these variables? Uh, let's start by drawing a free body diagram. Both of these objects are going to be attracted toward one another using Newton's universal law of gravitation. There's a force of gravity. They're being pulled toward one another. Now, because they're moving in a circle, let's sum the forces in the in direction. Summing the forces in the in direction on either one of the two stars, it doesn't matter which one, we get that the force of gravity, which is inward and therefore positive, is equal to the mass times the centripetal acceleration. Now, the force of gravity is Newton's universal law of gravitation, the big G equation. Big G times the mass of one star times the mass of the other, but they're both the same, so I just put the mass of the star, divided by R squared. That's equal to the mass of the star times the centripetal acceleration. And an equation for centripetal, centripetal acceleration is the tangent of velocity squared divided by the radius. The mass of the star cancels out, and therefore we get that the big G times the mass of the star divided by R squared is equal to the tangent of velocity squared divided by R. And now we can simply substitute in our values. So when we substitute in on the left hand side, R is equal to capital D. On the right hand side, R is equal to D over 2. Mr. P? Yes, but. Doesn't R always stand for radius? Class. In Newton's universal law of gravitation, or the big G equation, R is not the, the radius. radius. Oh yeah, not the radius. R is the, the distance, distance between, between the center, center of masses, masses of the two objects. objects. This is especially confusing because R sometimes is the, the radius. radius. So you have to be really careful in Newton's universal law of gravitation that R is the distance between the center of masses of the two objects. So in this particular problem, that R value is capital D. However, in your centripetal acceleration equation, that R is the radius of the circle, which in this case is the diameter, capital D, divided by 2. So they are not the same in this particular problem. So R is not the radius. It is, by definition, the distance between the center of masses of the two objects. And yes, sometimes it does work out to be the radius, but not this time. So now we can cancel out one capital D from both sides. We get that the Newton's universal gravitational constant times the mass of the star divided by capital D of the diameter is equal to two times the tangent of velocity squared, dividing both sides by two. The tangent of velocity squared equals big G times the mass of the star divided by 2D, which is answer B, the correct answer.